Hi everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to install a speed test to monitor your internet connection through Domotix. You will then be able to build up a history of the latency, download and upload speed of your internet connection. The installation is pretty straightforward. We need to install a speed test application, three new custom sensors in Domotix, a script to enable the communication with Domotix and a schedule in the cron tab to run the script on a regular basis. The installation requires approximately 10 minutes to complete. If you completely follow this tutorial, then within the Modix under the utility tab, you will have three custom sensors, one of the latency of your connection in milliseconds, two, your download speed in megabits per second, and three, your upload speed in megabits per second. So step one is the installation of the speed test application. And therefore we need to fill out the following command. sudo apt get install speed test dash cli enter. For step two, we need to go to our Domotix environment and we need to go to setup, hardware, and we need to make sure that we have the following hardware components installed, which is dummy. And with dummy, you're able to create virtual switches. We need to provide it a name. Let's call it virtual switches. We're gonna say add, and we need to create a virtual switch. And we are going to use the custom sensor. And we're gonna call the first one latency with a label called um, MS for milliseconds. Then we need a second sensor. This one we're gonna call download with megabits per second. And a third one, upload also here megabits per second. So now we've created three custom sensors. So what we need to do is uh, actually what we need to do is go to utility. Here we can see that the, the custom sensors have been created. Now for each of these sensors we need to make sure that we find the unique identifier in uh, Domotix. Uh, because we need to set it up in a script, which we're going to make in the next step. And the unique identifier you can find in two different ways. One, by clicking on edit. And at the top of the device details, you see the IDX number. That's the unique identifier. Second way to do it is by going to setup devices. And here you can also see the top. Uh, left side, IDX, and then one, two, and three. Um, so now we know that latency is one, download is two, and upload is three. We need to remember that for our next step. To create this script, we are going to use the following commands. sudo nano, which is the simple editor. And then the script name, and we're going to call it uh, speed test to domo.sh. Enter. Now, this is quite some text, which I'm just going to copy paste into the editor. And I will make sure that this text is also visible uh, either in the description or in one of the comments of the video. 
Now, as you can see, we need to provide uh, a number of details. First of all, the host, which is the IP address of your uh, domotic server, which in my case is 192.168.1.1. Uh, 168.127.50. Then the port number, which is 8080. Username. <coughs> in my case, on my test environment, I, I'm, I'm not using any username or password for my uh, domotics environment. Uh, if you have a username and password, which is advisable, uh, then please fill that out. Then the IDX numbers corresponding to the virtual census that we created earlier, uh, which was one, two, and three. Uh, these are all the details that we need to provide into the script. Uh, to save the script, we're gonna press Control X, and then save modified buffer, yes, and then press enter. Now that the script has been created, we need to make sure that the script has the appropriate permissions provided. And each script needs executable permissions. And therefore we're going to use the command sudo chmod plus x, meaning we're gonna add the executable permissions. And then file name st2domo.sh, enter. Now, the script has been provided, permissions have been uh, set, and now we can actually uh, start the script. And starting a script always goes through dot slash, and then the script name, and then press enter. Now it's going to run the script, which will take a number of seconds. And during this process, it will uh, collect the uh, uh, statistics from your internet connection, and it will send it through the script to the Motics, to the free census we uh, created, latency, download, and upload speed. So if we look at our Domotics environment, we need to go to the Utility tab. And on the Utility tab, we see the results from the script we just ran. And if you ran the script multiple times and go to the uh, log, then you will actually see, actually see that it starts building up a history of your internet connection for all three uh, custom sensors. In step four, the last step, we are going to create a schedule through the cron tab that the script will be running on a hourly basis. So we're gonna use the command sudo cron tab dash e. Then at the bottom, we're gonna add another line called add hourly then slash, um, in my case, it's home pi, and then the script name as to st2domo.sh. Now, as we've seen earlier, to run a script, uh, you need to fill out the command dot slash. That is not required in the cron tab. So in this case, just the folder structure the directory name and then followed by the uh, script name. Now we're going to save the cron tab, control X, uh, yes, and then press enter. Well, this was the end of the uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, uh, please subscribe and see you next time. Thank you.